Hey everybody. Happy evening. Alright, so we are doing our round two for this invitation. Hey guys. Hey everybody. Fan night in basically in my pajamas. Happy evening. Um, Alright, so this is round right, two so for this invitation suite round that we're working for on. You guys saw the marbling last night. Hey guys. Um, Fabric Row was Fabric awesome. I got my pajamas. Um, Alright, so this is round two later. for this invitation um, suite that we're working I need on. Maybe you guys saw the for this one last actually. night. Um, hey, Fabric hi, Row was Australia. awesome. What time I is it there? I need it. Which is I don't my actually know what time it is. Later. Uh, Jonathan, what time um, is it? I need a navy blue silk for this one. Alright, so this is round two. What time is it there? In Australia. It is. I don't actually know what time in there. Uh, it's so cool. I love. I love hearing rubber bass yeah. from anybody else from a, from another country. Um, I'm in Philadelphia. All right. So this is round States. two. All right. So let's look at the these. Uh, last it's night, so cool. I love. Replay, I love hearing uh, from we anybody else from, 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 from another country. I have a little bit more marbling. I'm in Philadelphia. Ooh, hey, New Zealand. Um, for the envelope liners. Alright, so let's look at these. Spain. Uh, last Just night, if you guys California. caught the replay, uh, Claudia, we did some marbling. I have a little bit more know. marbling to do. Ooh, hey, New Zealand. Um, for the envelope liners. Where's my California girlfriend. Spain. Just California. Claudia, where in California are you from? See me like that. Nice. Who said Antarctica? Who said Antarctica? Where's my California Apparently girlfriend? I've got a penguin. Oklahoma. <laughs> You're great. Alright, so. Uh, nice. Who said Antarctic? Who said Antarctica? Apparently, we've got a penguin. Oklahoma. <laughs> You're great. All right, so uh, let's look at the other half of these. I'm gonna flip you around. Last night, today we're doing the watercolor wash. So there's four pieces in this suite. I'm trying to remember if I have any marbling around here. Uh, yeah, I think I've got some up there. Let me grab some. Um. There's not very many places to walk in this living room right now. Okay, there's my my ghetto pillow. I don't actually know what that pillow is from, but it's my sit-on pillow, which I'm working on the floor. All right, so this is what we worked on last night, and now I don't use Snapchat. I think it's kind of stupid. I prefer this. Here's some of the pieces we did last night. So like I said, there's four pieces in this suite. What does Jonathan do when I have these all over? He walks very carefully. These are all, <laughs> this is a wedding invitation. I'm a invitation designer. All right, so let's, we'll talk about the, the suite itself and then we'll talk about why there are so many. Um, okay, so we did the reply card and the reception card last night. We did it's copper foil with marbling in the background. So last night I did all the marbling. There's the other ones. It's actually not a very good example of the marbling. Ah, that's better. Yes, Monday has been detained. The wall is back up. She is, you can kind of see her tail or her head. I can't tell. There's our reception cards. So today we're working on the other half of the suite, which is the invitation and the information card. Uh, these take a lot longer to dry because it's watercolor, and I kind of like it to pool a little bit. So you get some nice variation in color, but uh, yeah, it takes forever. So I'm sitting here watching paint dry. Um, the reason there are so many is because there's two different cards. The invitations are up here, then the information cards are down here, and more invitations over here. It's National Puppy Day? I didn't know that. Pop up, it's National Puppy Day. I can't even tell if she's looking at me or not. I think she's upset about the boxes again. So yeah, these look pretty awesome. So I'm doing these by hand rather than printing them because it was my right idea. And I really, really like the way they look when they're all a little bit different. So they're they're really pretty. They've turned out really nice. Don't mind the dog hair on that. There's definitely dog hair on some of these. It'll just dust off. Yep, so that's why there are so many. So this is a crane stock. Um, we basically had a choice between uh, like a 210 and a 190. Click on in Vegas. Um, no, he's in Arizona. And it was Nexum Printing. Um, it's a big commercial printer. They're cool though. Here you go. Uh, and their turnaround for me, I mean... Their turnaround does vary, and it might not be that their turnaround is a three-day turnaround. They're just faster than the month it took for these. So, 
Um, their turnaround can vary depending upon their workflow and all that stuff. Okay, so crane, back to the crane. This is a pretty hefty stock. It's We actually duplexed these because the 220 was heavy enough with all four pieces. I was concerned that they wouldn't fit in the envelopes and we added this piece later in the process. So with three pieces, sure, the 220 would fit. But adding that, that other piece, I was pretty concerned about these, you know, the, the cotton sticks to the envelopes a little bit because uh, it's got a little bit of that tooth. So if it's tight, pulling in and out of the envelope could be a little rough. Duplex is when you glue two pieces of paper together and press them tight so it's just thicker stock, which is what we ended up doing. We duplexed two 90 pound rather than the 220, which is like two 110s essentially. So... Um, I decided to go a little bit down in weight to make sure that they all fit in the envelope, but I also get bored of looking at the paper. Um, but I also went with 7.5 envelopes, which was hard to find in gray cotton with a pointed flap. So, um, gave myself a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, the envelopes are a little bit bigger and the paper is a little bit thinner. Duplex before or after. Try Savoy. Um, I, I've tried all the cottons. I really do prefer the, the crane because their whole line matches each other, which is nice. The olives, I actually don't know. I need to order more, so I do need to look that up. Um, I need to order for more from another project, but I did so much Googling trying to find 7.5 in gray that I probably pulled up 20 different sites. I have absolutely no idea who I ordered them from. I need to dig back through my receipts and find it. Boom. Um... These will have a navy blue silk ribbon on them, which is why I was in the fabric row today. I got a bunch of silk from my favorite fabric store, and uh, I'm going to strip that up tomorrow. That should be fun. Ribbon stripping. It's different than actual stripping. So the other thing we're working on tonight is Jonathan's helping me cut. He's a very good assistant. He's in the dining room right now. So we're, we're cutting some more save the dates as well. So this is project number three that's on my desk have flowers on the back, say that in up front, they're really pretty. And then, ooh, something else came today that was fun, a uh, video for ribbon. Yeah, I probably will, especially once I figure out how to do it. Where did the mail go from today? Oh, there it is. Guess what came in the mail today? My invitation that I sent myself for my sister's baby shower. I always like to send one to myself to see how they go through the mail, especially because this one has a wax seal on the back. Whoop, I just tripped over one. Oh, sheesh. Um, I wanted to see how the wax seal went through the mail. So let's, we'll open it up and take a look. Um, let me show you also the giant tub of watercolor I have because it's kind of funny. Here's, here's our, everything. There's my seat right in the middle. So, yeah, it's a lot. And here is my rather large tub of watercolor. I made way too much, but oh well. Okay, so here is the baby shower invitation. I definitely found Harry Potter stamps, which I'm pretty stoked at. Although, uh, unfortunately, I did not notice that I gave myself Draco Malfoy. That's a bummer. Yes, I specifically gave my parents Lord Voldemort. They won't notice, but my sister will. Very difficult to get this up with one hand. Hurry! Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I totally just ran the envelope. Definitely give myself a paper cut. I am bleeding. You bleeding? I am bleeding. You bleeding? No, it's not that bad. Totally paper cutting myself. I cut my liners with a cutter. I just print the template. Um, if you haven't seen me do envelope liners, check out some of the past videos. We've talked about them recently. Here's our, here's our invitation. Turned out really cute. I like it. They're super cute. Is anybody tired of seeing these yet? <laughs> oh, you want to see the new cover I got for my phone? It's cute, huh? Yes, I designed it completely from scratch. We've talked about the suite a few times now. Uh, if you want to go back and either catch the replays or give me a few more days and I'll get them up on YouTube. 
you'll see all the pieces that went into creating this suite. I actually did this lettering live on Periscope. Um, I did not use ribbon for this because I didn't want to create any kind of bulk to bump up the postage. And they really, 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 really needed to go in the mail. And I really, really, really did not have time to order ribbon, wait for it, and tie them all together. Plus, it's only two layers. I usually prefer to do ribbon if I'm concerned about anything falling down into the envelope, like a reply card, something that's smaller. But there's no way you're going to lose either of these, pulling them out. So, And adding that ribbon on would add a little bit of that bulk onto. Yes, I'm like the best sister ever, right? <laughs> I did baby showers for both my sisters. There we go. So that's that sweet. Envelope got a little gunky in the mail. But they turned out pretty nice. Nice and shimmery. There you go. Alright, anybody have any questions about uh, the process we've got all over the place? I still have like half the reception cards to do. These are actually the information cards. I do have a wax seal with their monogram on it. That'll be going on the back like this one, which is why I'm, one of the reasons why I mailed this to myself. I want to go through the mail because I'm going to use it for this client as well. Personal question. Um, Tammy, you should know me better than that. There are no such thing as personal questions. I have two sisters, both younger than me. Can you see me do wash? Sure. Let's go back over to my ghetto pillow. I have very little room to work here. Alright, so here's my card. Um, I have this many left still to do. It's quite a few. Alright, so I've got my water. Ooh. Ta-da! Wash. I'll do another one because I actually have no idea where the camera was facing on that one. Oh, my poor father. Your poor father, too. He used to call us the Hormone Hotel. Stop laughing, you. <laughs> Jonathan has a sister, so his parents did not experience multiple of the same. Ooh, Tammy, I'd love to see what you guys work on in your class. I'm taking a botanical watercolor class right now on Tuesdays. We just started, so... We did pencil shading. It was very exciting. By that, I'm being sarcastic. And inevitably, someone's going to ask me what color paint and what brush this is, so let's look at it. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch. The paint I used... Ha! I knew you were going to ask that. Oh, I put it back in the box. Hold on, let me grab the box. Carefully not dumping anything into my paint. Alright, I used a permanent rose, which is in here somewhere, and a yellow. I actually used a yellow gouache. Use this guy. Because um, I couldn't find a yellow watercolor. So these are the paint colors I mixed. It's permanent rose and a yellow gouache. It just has a touch of yellow to give it a little bit more of a nude rather than like a bright pink. Um, I actually don't know how long these take to dry. I can tell you that the ones way back there, the first ones, I can still see that they're wet. I might have to leave these here overnight. Um, thankfully, Monday has her rug over in front of the door that she sleeps on. So she's not going to be upset about this. So the overall colors of this, we've got the gray, the copper, the blush, and then the navy blue ribbon. So I really, really love the color palette. And her save the dates were marbled with copper with a navy blue envelope. So, I probably have two more days of this. So I have to do, I have to marble all the envelope liners, wash the other ones with this blush wash, and then finish the info cards, and that'll be done. I want to figure out how to rip the ribbon. I will do that too. Um, not really. They they dry remarkably flat. These all look very uneven, but it's because they're on carpet and towels that aren't totally flat. They they're they're remarkably flat. 
there's almost zero warping. The cards do have a little bit of a curve to them, but that's from being cut, not from warping. So, yeah, they look pretty good. All right, guys, anybody else have any other questions? If not, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, these are great wedding colors. I really like them. This bride is a complete dream. She's really fun to work with. I think this one dry. Of the of the watercolor. I mean this one this one's dry. Some will be a little bit darker than others. But that's about what it looks like. They look good. This one had a little bit less um, water water. Ah, paper, rock, scissors. I actually forget you guys are local. We should grab coffee. And yes, I am in King of Prussia. Can you do a wash over calligraphy? Um, over calligraphy that I've written? I mean, I wrote this, but it's foiled. That would be a no. Um, I mean, if you had... If you used watercolor ink that was waterproof, maybe I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there. I'd do the wash first and then the calligraphy second. Because as soon as you get that calligraphy wet, the likelihood of it bleeding is pretty high. All right, let's get this bucket out of the way so I'm knock it over. It's kind of inevitable. All right, I'll say hi to. Oh yeah, the sound of the paper cutter. Jonathan's cutting. Save the dates for me. <laughs> Um, the big cutter is at Ashley's house, so we're doing them individually, which isn't, isn't that bad. I got all the rest of the seeds the dates, I think about 75% of them done in about a half an hour, so it's fast. Wait. All right, let's say hi to my dog. Hi, pup pup. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Uh, do you want a snack? Get your snack. Say hi, everybody. Boy, grabbing your treats. Um, time. You guys see my nasty bedroom slippers? Ugh, so gross. My feet are always cold. What do you say? Okay. Yeah? Do you want to roll over? Oh, you got this makeup. Pause up. Oh, yeah, look how cute she is. Look at that derpy face. Good girl. Pause up. Can you speak? <coughs> yeah. It's National Puppy Day. I bet you didn't know that. You're filthy. You're a filthy beast. Here, sit up. Want to see your catch? Oh my god, she actually caught that. She did not catch that one. Ready? There's a random pot. Okay, by the way, that pot has been sitting there for like two months. I have just stopped seeing it. It doesn't, the lid doesn't fit under the stove, so uh, I'm just like, Oh no, your poor puppy. Alright, alright guys, we're going to say goodnight. Do you want to say hi to Jonathan? Oh, we caught him. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. This is our, our dining room slash kitchen. <laughs> oh, one of these days we'll finish the construction on the kitchen. How sweet girl. Yeah, she does not like being locked out of the kitchen. Oh, that was some, that was a nice drool, honey. Everyone says hello. Yeah, I usually get things stack cut. See, I just, I really want to get a new cutter, and I just haven't. But so many of my projects I've had lately have been letterpress or foil, so they cut them when they print them. So it's been a while since I've done a big cut job. I know, he's the best. And Mundog is the best too. Hi, honey, honey. She's staring at her treats, that's why she's not looking at me. Don't you have a handsome face? My beautiful girl. My beautiful girl. Can you wave? We're gonna say hello. Let's see if she'll wave while laying down. Pop up. Can you say hello? Yes. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh. Oh, newfies are so bad at catching. It's right here, baby. Good girl. Who's going to make my baby shower rotations? Well, that would require me reproducing. I'll probably make them myself. Let's just be real. What do you say? Yeah? Can you catch it? Ready? <laughs> I 
and a lot of times she gets the treats stuck in her fur and then she can't find them. <laughs> so sad. Here we go. Let's make a go. Okay, now that I'm super, super covered in slobber, that's, that's disgusting. All right, guys. Really, we really are going now. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Monday says hi and bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Speak. There you go. There you go. And can we roll over? I love her roll over, her paws up. That was one paw. No, roll over. Paws up. There we go. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. Oh, you're so slobbery. You're so slobbery. Okay, cool. All right. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.